On August 12, 1943, in the midst of World War II, a fleet consisting of the USS Iowa, two escort carriers, and three destroyers are en route to the Tehran Conference where President Franklin D. Roosevelt would meet with Winston Churchill and Joseph Stalin. The USS Iowa, the largest and slowest of the ships was in command. Fleet Admiral Ernest Joseph King gave the order to conduct combat drill training with the Iowa as the pretend target. It launched large weather balloons over itself which the crew of the Iowa promptly destroyed with its anti-aircraft guns. Phase 2 was a torpedo assault. The accompanying destroyer's crew were to remove the primers from their torpedoes and the exercise was conducted all the way down to pulling the trigger targeting the Iowa. The first round went off without a hitch. The torpedoes had not left their tubes. On the second round however a whooshing sound was heard as panic set in. Unbeknownst to the crew of the Willie D. Porter President Roosevelt himself was on board of the Iowa, along with many cabinet members and high-ranking military officials. The Iowa tried frantically to shoot the torpedo out of the water with anti-aircraft guns but wasn't able to. Fortunately the torpedo missed and from then on, any ship that encountered the Willie D. greeted them with don't shoot. We're Republicans. 